again, my name is Gabe Zola. This is the 17th of December, 2017. If you watched some of my videos yesterday on the repeal of net neutrality, what did I say? Well, what I said was that it was designed to screw us, to take control of the internet, and to take control of our wallets. And I said that now that it's been passed by the FCC, it'll get rubber stamped by Congress. Why? That's why. Money. Can I attach an article that one of my viewers sent me? Congress took 101 million in donations from the ISP industry. Here's how much your lawmaker got. Comcast, Verizon, AT&T, and others spread their money far and wide to influence the government. Well, it's more than influence the government. What did I say? Well, I said that now that they can do whatever they want, they meaning the internet service providers, we're all going to get screwed royally. You got companies like AT&T that are greedy and they gobbled up a TV outlet. They direct TVs owned by AT&T and they just are relentless. They're all like that. They never have enough. They never have enough. When you take a look at what you pay for internet service and your television service, it's like a mortgage payment. I mean, it's just like a mortgage payment every month. Now what this chart shows you is that the Republicans, the Democrats, all got paid off. That's where that hundred and ten million dollars went. And that's what we know about. That doesn't include other payoffs, under the table payoffs to these worthless elected representatives. How do you think they all get so rich? Huh? How do you think they all get so rich? Insider trading and corruption. They break down who the big three are, which I already told you, and how much each one of those contributed to ensure that net neutrality would in fact pass. And the chairman? Well, he used to work for Verizon. Hmm? What you ask, to ask yourself is, why didn't President Trump stop this? Why did he put Paddy back in as chairman for another five years when he knew his position? If he didn't know his position, shame on him. Well, Gabe, you can't expect them to know everything. No. That's why he should rely on people like us. It breaks down the telecom industry contributions to U.S. senators. The actual senators themselves. Guess who's at the top? Hmm? John McCain. You want to read this article? <laughs> Folks, when it comes time to re-elect, don't vote for any of these dirtbags that are clearly listed. Do your own research. Absolutely insane. You'll recognize many of these individuals. Rand Paul is on this list. He got $114,000. They're all on this list. Luther Strange. You know Luther Strange. He was the Republican that Trump supported for Alabama. It's absolutely disgusting when you go through the list and you see how much money they all received. They're all in it. 
and anyone thinks they're not is delusional. Elizabeth Warren, well, she didn't get much. She got forty thousand dollars. When's the last time someone gave you forty thousand hmm? dollars? And little Johnny McCain, well, what did Johnny get? He got a whopping two million five hundred fifty-four thousand seven hundred eighty-four dollars. <laughs> Mitch McConnell. One million one hundred nineteen thousand one hundred eighty nine dollars. Chuck Grassley seven hundred and twenty seven thousand two hundred nineteen dollars. John Cornyn, he would hill, we don't have to worry about him much longer, six hundred and twenty two thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars. Corey Gardner, five hundred and twenty three thousand. Lindsey Graham, $485,442. Are you sort of getting the picture? Little Marco picked up $381,679. Lisa Murkowski, $365,712. You want to go through this list. Jeffrey the Flake Flake, $288,500. I don't know folks, when you take a look at this list, it'll get you pissed. You know little Tommy Cotton? Hmm? $177,660. Is this list truthful and accurate? I think so. <laughs> Our government is a corrupt evil, self-serving, twisted sewer. You have a look at it. You let me know what you think. You sure as hell know what I think. The way we knew the internet will never be the same. Many people won't be able to afford to use it. And those that do will pay a significant premium. And these ISPs, well, they're going to become insanely wealthy. Think not. Well, you're entitled to your own opinion. Read the article. Then let me know what you think. Thanks for listening.